Fafa here coming to you guys with another video. Today's video is on this smoky eye nude lip thing that I got going on. On Twitter a few days ago, I ran a poll asking you guys what you guys would want to see on my channel next. And a lot of you guys said that you wanted to see a smoky eye. So I did this quick, simple, easy smoky eye for beginners. Just because I know a lot of people always want to know how to like throw a smoky eye on if they're going out and doing something fancy. So if you want to see how I got this look, keep watching. But before I click to the next clip, I wanted to thank you guys for helping me reach 100 subscribers. Um, I know it's not a big deal, but you know, I'm happy about it. And you know, it makes me feel good to know that I'm making some progress whether it be a little progress or a lot you know it feels good to know that people are watching this stuff and watching me make a fool out of myself sometimes and you know all the other crazy that I do on this page aside from trying to help you guys you know get beat and whatever so like I said thank you so much for helping me reach 100 subscribers um, keep like sharing and commenting and all that good stuff comment below if there are any video requests that you want to see me do I'll be happy to do those videos and like I said if you want to see this look keep watching okay so my foundations already on my eyebrows are already done and my eyelids are already primed so we're gonna get right to the video the first thing I'm going to do is set my primer with just a regular bone colored um, eyeshadow and this is in my Tarte palette I'm pretty much gonna use my Tarte palette for this whole look and I'm just going to set it and I'm gonna bring it all the way to the brow bone so that I don't have to put um, like a brow bone highlight on I don't really like to do a brow bone highlight because my eyebrows are already really arched so I don't really need it so the next thing I'm going to do is get into my morphe palette and pick up this um, orange color right here is it this color or this color I think it's this one down here right here and I'm going to put it on in my upper crease so I'm just tapping off some of that excess real quick and then putting this in my upper crease you don't have to be neat about this this is just going to peek out of your um, your smoky eye so just it doesn't matter if it gets in your lid or on your crease I'm gonna go into the next color I'm going to dip into the rebel color in the morphe sorry I'm gonna dip into rebel from the tartlet and bloom palette and put that right underneath the orange color um, you don't have to be perfect about this too I'm just kind of building up the color so that when I apply the black or the dark dark gray dark brown whatever you decide to do your smoky eye with when I apply that color it doesn't look super harsh and it's easier to blend going to dip into leader which is the darker brown color and put that right underneath again I'm just building up the color and I'm just taking a skinnier brush so that I could really get into the crease because now you know we're getting closer and closer to the black color for your smoke yeah. Taking my Mikasa Beauty E300 brush, I'm going to dip into Activist right here and just do the same thing, apply it into the crease. But I'm applying this a little lower than all the other colors. Okay, now I'm going to, with my ring finger, I'm going to take Smoke Show right here and apply this onto my lid. So 
now I'm gonna take my Mikasa Beauty E310 brush. It's a pencil brush, and I'm just going to blend out the harsh lines. Um, I'm not applying too much pressure on my um, on my brush because I don't want to take off too much product. I just really want to just blend out the harsh line. And if you see that you're blending and some product goes away, just add more, blend it out, add more, blend it out. And that's why I applied all of the brown colors before it so that I don't have to blend out as much. It'll just kind of seamlessly blend into the other darker colors that I placed in my crease. Okay, so as you can see, my lids are pretty much done. I'm gonna um, go to the rest of my face and then come back to the eyes. Off camera, I applied lashes. Yeah, I know. It took a really long time to get these on, and I'll probably never do it again. But I applied lashes, eyeliner, and just some black eyeshadow on my lower lash line. Now I'm about to contour. For blush, I'm gonna use the blush in the Tartlet and Bloom palette just because I don't feel like getting up. And I just really like peachy colors, colored blushes with like a dark smoky eye. I think it looks really pretty. So I just start at the apples of my cheeks and then drag it upwards. Then I'm going to highlight using this, um, wow, this gold highlighter right here. Then I'm going to take this small brush from BH Cosmetics and I'm just going to highlight the inner tear ducts real quick. I'm going to apply my lipstick and today's lipstick is going to be Lolita by Kat Von D which I haven't used in a while but pretty much my favorite lipstick ever my favorite nude lipstick anyway While I let this dry or whatever, I'ma set my face with the Smashbox Primer Water. And then on top of the Lolita, I'm going to apply the Gerard Cosmetics Lipstick in, I mean Lip Gloss and Cocoa Bean. And 
then this is the finished look. I went back and applied um, some liner on my eyes just to cover the lashes, the lash band or whatever. Stressed out. This whole eyelash thing is stressful. I don't need it. I don't love it. But I felt like it would look good with the smoky eye, so I put it on for y'all. But just know that in my regular life, this lash thing that y'all do, I just, maybe in 2017 I'll change my mind, but for right now, it just takes way too long, my eyelashes are too curly, it's a thing, it's a whole thing, it's a whole process, it took me like 10 minutes. But anyway, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!